Hello friends, this video on matter and magnetism part 33 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 32 before going ahead with this one. So now we will talk about the magnetic dipole moment of a revolving electron. Now from our Bohr's theory, we know that, that every atom consists of a nucleus which is positively charged and which contains all the protons and neutrons and it consists of electrons which are revolving around the nucleus in some circular orbit, right? So let us suppose this is my nucleus which has a charge of plus ZE. So let us say that charge on nucleus is plus ZE and this is my electron which revolves around the nucleus in somewhat circular path and the charge on the electron is minus E. Now electron moving around the nucleus, this movement of electron is nothing but movement of charge. Now moving charges constitute a current, right? So that means Electron moving around the nucleus, electron moving around nucleus, this constitutes a current because any moving charge constitute current. So you can write down that this current is nothing but charge per unit time. So charge is the charge on an electron per unit time. What is this time? Time period to complete one revolution. So this time is the time to complete one revolution. So this time is nothing but the distance traveled in one revolution that is 2 pi r that is the circumference of this circular path divided by the velocity of the electron. So this v is nothing but the orbital speed of electron. Right? So now if you put this in this expression, what do you get? Current is equal to E divided by 2 pi r into V. So this would be the current that is constituted due to the movement of this electron about the nucleus. Now let us try to calculate the magnetic moment of electron. So magnetic moment of electron due to its orbital motion is generally denoted by mu L. This L subscript is, subscript is for the orbital motion of electron. Magnetic moment is nothing but product of current and area. So current into area. Now current in this case is E into V divided by 2 pi R. And what is area? Area is nothing but pi r square. So this pi pi will get cancelled. r and r will get cancelled. So we get E v r divided by 2. So the magnetic moment of electron is equal to E v r divided by 2. And what would be the direction of magnetic moment? Now in if you look at this figure, what do you see? Somewhat this is the path of the electron. Right? And let us say this is the radius of its path. And suppose we are assuming that the electron is moving in this direction. So if the electron is moving in this direction, so what would be the direction of current? Now if the electron is moving in this direction, so it is constituting electronic current, right? Now we are talking about electronic current. So if this is the direction of current, your magnetic field, what would be the direction of your magnetic field? So the direction of your magnetic moment, which is given by current into area. So that magnetic moment will act vertically downwards. So this magnetic moment will act vertically downwards. Right? So what would be your magnetic moment? Now we, you can write. So now this magnetic moment can be further written like this. E V R divided by 2. 
we multiply the numerator as as well as denominator with mass of electron so what do we get we get e divided by 2me into v into r into me now what is this mvr mvr is nothing but the angular momentum of electron which is equal to e divided by 2 me into l right this l is nothing but the magnitude of orbital angular momentum now don't get worried with these terms like orbital angular momentum and stuff like that because i'm sure you would have studied about all these things in your chemistry lessons so what do we conclude we observe that the orbital magnetic moment of electron is equal to minus 2 me into l so this shows that the magnetic moment of electron is in a direction opposite to the angular momentum of electron so this implies that angular momentum of electron is opposite in direction to the magnetic moment of electron so from this we conclude that any charge in uniform circular motion would have an associated magnetic moment so for electron also because of its orbital motion we have this orbital magnetic moment similarly because of the fact that electron has spins electron spins about itself there is another magnetic moment associated with electron that is known as magnetic moment due to spin of electron which is denoted by mu s right so the net magnetic moment of an electron is given by vector addition of mu s and mu l so we will talk about all those things when we discuss uh, especially about electrons but for now i just gave an example of electron to show that any charge which is in uniform circular motion would have an associated magnetic moment because any charge in circular motion will constitute current and there will be a magnetic moment associated with that current so that is how we reach the end of this lesson on magnetism so we we have few more things not only few more things but a lot more to discuss about magnetism which we will continue in our next lesson so for now we will solve some problems on some of the topics which we on which we haven't solved problems before thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again